work. Advances in biotechnology were helping people improve their physical and mental abilities to an amazing degree. Provided, of course, they had enough money. A new breed of people was emerging, half human, half machine. And in Detroit, at least, not everyone was happy to see it. I'd just landed a job as head of security at Seraf Industries, a cutting-edge biotech firm. David Seraf himself handpicked me for the job, said he needed me to keep his people safe. My ex, Megan Reed, was one of them. Brilliant neuroscientist, Megan had found a way to make augmentation safe and affordable for everyone. All she had to do was present her research to Congress. But the night before her big meeting, my security measures failed. A team of Black Op mercenaries stormed into Sarah's headquarters, massacring everyone in sight. Three of the mercs were heavily augmented walking tanks. Their mission? Take out Megan and her team. I tried to stop them, but their leader tossed me through a plate glass wall. Last thing I heard as his bullets slammed into my brain was Megan's dying scream. I should have died with her. Only I didn't. High-end military-grade enhancements saved my life. The best augmentation Sarah's money could buy. It took me half a year to get a feel for her. Should have taken longer. But six months into my recovery, Sarah Industries was attacked again. This time, by a radical group of pro-human purists. Violent, militant, and fanatically opposed to human augmentation, they claimed to be members of Humanity Front, a non-profit organization that wanted the UN to limit biotechnology research. The thugs broke into Sarah's factory and found machinists working overtime on a top-secret military augment called the Typhoon. Sarah sent me to retrieve it. And when I did, I found one of the so-called purists next to it, wired with cerebral implants, trying to download its classified specs. Obviously, something more was going on. The Og killed himself before I could question him. Sarah ordered me to dig deeper. So with the help of Frank Pritchard, Sarah's head of cybersecurity, I did. Turns out a second hacker had been controlling the Og's actions from somewhere off-site. Pritchard and I tracked his signal to a secret FEMA internment camp in Detroit. The Black Op mercenaries were there. The same mercs who'd left me for dead six months before. Figured they'd try again when they saw me. It wasn't so easy for them this time. I took out the tank named Barrett, even got him to give me a new lead. A penthouse apartment in China. Of course, we both knew it would be a trap in the end. Hengsha Island, China. Home to a city so crowded, they had to build a second city on top of it. Trying to find clues in Hengsha wouldn't be easy. Lucky for me, I wasn't alone. Farida Malik, Seraph Industries' ace pilot, had lived in Hengsha before. A good person to have on your side. She knew enough about the place to get me around. Malik dropped me in the lower city, close to the penthouse Barrett had told me about. Bell Tower Associates, a private security firm under contract to the Chinese government, had agents tossing the suite when I arrived. Just not for the reason I'd been expecting. Turns out the man who lived there was a criminal hacker named Van Bruggen. The same hacker who'd been remotely controlling the AUG in Sarah's factory. Van Bruggen's panicked decision to force the man to commit suicide had been a mistake. Now his mercenary partners were gunning for him, and I needed to find him before they did. Locating Van Bruggen meant playing nice with the Triads, anxious organized crime lords. They had the hacker holed up inside a low-rent capsule hotel. By the time I found him, Van Bruggen had no qualms giving up the woman who hired him. Zhao Yun Ru, president of the Taiyang Medical Corporation. According to Van Bruggen, Zhao wanted to monopolize the augmentation industry and had hired black op mercenaries to destabilize her competition. Seraph Industries was at the top of her list. To prove this, I needed to get inside TYM and grab a surveillance hologram off a server. 
I suspected Van Bruggen was hiding something when he told me this. But nothing could have prepared me for what I saw. Megan wasn't dead. She and her four best researchers had been kidnapped. Spirited away somewhere while their kidnappers made it look like they were dead. Desperate to learn more, I confronted Zhao in her penthouse. She claimed to be a pawn in a bigger plan, and hinted at a group so powerful it controlled global interests at a whim. Then she slipped into a panic room and hit the alarm, forcing me to make a very quick exit. I figured Zhao was lying, but part of her confession made sense. David Seraph had been worried about his people. So worried, he'd required all of them to have subdermal locator devices surgically implanted. The GPLs would have been broadcasting the day of the attack. But Zhao sent a single call to Picus, the world's leader in global 24-hour satellite news, and turned those signals off. I needed to fly to Picus headquarters in Montreal if I wanted to learn more. Eliza Kassan, Pikus Communications' first lady of news. Malik thought I was reaching when I told her Eliza was involved in this. The world's most famous news anchor, working with a mercenary hit squad. But when I confronted Kassan in her office, she freely admitted to jamming Detroit satellites the night Megan's team had been taken. Said she's just been following her commands. I suspected she wanted to say more. But Black Op mercenaries showed up, looking to shut us both down. And just like that, the Eliza I'd been talking to disappeared. The mercs were led by an augmented killer I crossed paths with twice before. Fedorova. A woman who'd made silence her best friend. She waited for me to track Eliza's transmission to a secret server room underneath the Picus complex. Then jumped me from behind. A deadly fight ensued. I made sure she never moved silently again. With Fedorova down, and no one left to keep Eliza quiet, she reappeared. Turns out Picus's first lady of news wasn't a lady at all. She was a sophisticated AI program, engineered to monitor data streams and control what people believed. Eliza told me the Mercs had brought in a humanity front doctor named Isaiah Sandoval to remove the scientists' implanted tracking devices while Detroit's satellites were down. She also told me to speak to David Seraph if I wanted to learn more. By the time Malik and I got back to Detroit, tensions between normal and augmented citizens had reached a flashpoint. Riots were breaking out in several cities. The UN was being urged to intervene. Seraph was trying hard to convince Hugh Darrow the inventor turned philanthropist who'd once been a leading proponent of enhancement technologies to help stop a possible regulatory vote. Seraph had a lot riding on Darrow. Megan's discovery would have given millions of people the chance to evolve beyond their normal human abilities, and at the same time, catapulted Seraph Industries to the top of the Fortune 500. According to Seraph, Megan's kidnappers knew this and didn't want people evolving unless they controlled how it was done. He called his enemies Illuminati, and urged me to keep searching. Determined to do so, I tracked down Sandoval via America's most outspoken augmentation opponent, Bill Taggart, Sandoval's boss and founder of Humanity Front. Sandoval admitted to operating on Megan's team when I confronted him, but said he hadn't removed their GPLs. He'd merely switched them to a different frequency. Pritchard was able to trace one of the signals to China, Malik and I immediately took off in pursuit. Unfortunately, the Illuminati were one step ahead. Ambushed. Shot out of the sky by Bell Tower Associates, seconds after entering anxious airspace. Malik's piloting skills saved me. After a tense and bitter struggle, I escaped into the war The tracking signal following led straight to the triads, or more specifically, to the augmented arm of Tong Si Hung, leader of a gang of augmentation harvesters. Tong said they'd taken the arm off a corpse, which Bell Tower had left at their door, meaning at least one of Seraph's scientists was dead. Maybe not the rest of them, though. 
Tong pointed me to a port used for human trafficking and helped me slip aboard a bell tower ship. We were sailing to Rifleman Bank Station, a military base in the South China Sea. Bell Tower was holding kidnapped civilians as prisoners there, and using them to perfect the Hyron Project, a human-computer interface that left most of its test subjects dead. My search for Megan would have ended then, if not for a mysterious ally named Quinn. In exchange for my help exposing Bell Tower, he slipped me aboard a second ship headed to Singapore, and an Illuminati-run biotech facility called Omega Ranch. Three of Seraph scientists were there, forced by their captors to create a technology capable of remotely shutting down augmented abilities. Thanks to an emergency recall notice issued by the World Health Organization, millions of people all over the world already had the biochip installed. With the help of the scientists, I tracked Megan to a private section of the ranch. There, I ran into Yaron Namir, the walking tank who'd put a bullet in my brain the first time we met. He'd teamed up with Zhao and was hoping to catch me off guard. A little ambush didn't work. I found Megan in a suite belonging to Hugh Darrow, the billionaire philanthropist who Sarah had called on for help. Darrow had convinced her to go along with the biochip plan by promising to sabotage the tech. As she was explaining this, Darrow appeared in a global broadcast, telling the world that augmentations would be the death of mankind. Then he activated the biochips to prove his point. All over the world, augmented people flew into a killing frenzy. Darrow had betrayed everyone, and it was up to me to set things right. To do it, I had to reach Panchea, a massive installation in the Arctic Ocean. As I raced through corridors built by an all-augmented workforce, I saw death and destruction firsthand. By the time I shut down Darrow's broadcast, I knew the damage he'd done. Still, humanity's future remained unclear. How would the world react to this sabotage? Would people ever regain their faith in augmentations again? What would be the Illuminati's next move? Only time to give us the answers. on us now, Hansa. Are ya? Well, if I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Agent Jensen! Am I gonna have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. Good. Because you are the only augmented operative on this team, and I intend to make good use of you. Listen up, all of you. We got a sandstorm barreling down our ass, and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex Bell Tower, one of the special forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military grade augments to terrorists. This is Aran Singh, the undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole. Best you see Interpol's got. 
but three years he's worked hard to get in tight with the Jin, an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, our arms dealer sent a message to the Jin, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle a buy. They're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts their party. Singh's cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, things got gruesome real fast. And no one, except for some homeless junkies, have been inside the place ever since. So what's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level, a halfway decent elevator shaft, here. I want you to block access to it. Fine, just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? I'd recommend taking a little hardware, just to be sure. I'm not leaving my six exposed. Give me something lethal. You're called, but Singh's undercover in all this. So watch your fucking sights. What about range? There's lots of wide spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. I'm not looking to play dice with anyone in there. Give me something with distance. Your call. Less chance of being seen and compromising Singh that way. One last thing, Jensen. Singh said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. I'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the gin out of that atrium. Copy that. Time to put away your heavy thoughts, gentlemen. We're approaching the target building. You're up first, Jensen. Let's do this. Task Force Actual. This is Knife Leader. Engage Hush Drives and descend to Angels 1-5. Team leader, this is Jensen. I'm on the roof.
Roger that. What's wrong? You should enjoy McCready. They have colors and shapes. Just remember, red means bad.
initiated. Access granted. del monte للأبد شيء غلط بالمكان هذه المنطقة آمنة راح يكون من الأفضل إلا نجيب أسلحة
صارت عتبة راح نكون معنيين عن قريب
track. You installed the signal booster already? Oh, I should uh, not in the same good eyes. So you could be hiding the room. Good. But there's too much riding on this thing. Last thing we need is the comms breaking down. Okay. McCready, how you making out? Say again. No parts, but I take mine with cream and two sugars while you're asking.
Something is happening here. to watch his back. anything. Working my way through the penthouses. Roger that.
second booster is online. Good. I could barely hear them now. Okay, keep your eyes open. Those are good. Miller, I disabled the Jin's comms booster. Should make it harder for them to listen in on the deal. Roger that. Moving on to primary target now. Receiver! Which is clean.
taking forever. like this place. So much death. Still moving. Affirmative. Booster's fried. Access route secure. Jin shouldn't be a problem. Over. Copy that. About fucking time. Enemy helo sighted. All right, strike force. Position and hold. Strike one. In position. Strike two. All set. Strike three. Yeah. Strike four. In position and holding, boss. Eyes up. Safety's off, guys. Yeah, no shit, Brown Nose. Watch your fucking mouth, Halliday. Both of you shut up. Five in position. Everybody stay sharp. Singh's got eyes on Shepard. Patching you in now. Target's in the AO. Remember, Singh's down there, so watch your fire. You got balls, Singh? Executing a buy with a sandstorm on her ass. I cannot take credit for Mother Nature, mister. You can call me Shepard. I'll be the call. Are these the weapons? The Orcs. They're getting harder to come by. Guns are still on the chopper. Show me the cash, quick, and we'll... Oh, what the...? Shepard is dead! What? By who? What's going on down there? Miller, this isn't the Jin. Repeat, it's not the Jin. They're after the weapons! Open fire! Open fire! 
Weapons free. Open up on Agreed. Them. Make it a grab for the chopper. You got a shot? Negative. Negative. We're under heavy fire down here. We can't let that chopper take off, Jensen. I got it. Copy that. Chopper's been grounded. Repeat. Jensen! You're welcome. Shit. the events in Dubai cost us. They knew the risks. How many assets did we lose? All of them. This sandstorm didn't help. The mission was a success. Clearly, your scale for success is a generous one. However, the erratic nature of the attack could work to our advantage. Interpol will be confused for weeks, and with our continued guidance, the people will come round eventually. We are all in this for the long game, after all. That's never changed. You think so? Do I need to remind you all how far we have veered off course? 
The Og incident has caused a schism in society. Things are worse than we projected, and growing more unstable every day. This will not be tolerated. To ensure the success of our vision, the disruptive elements must be excised. No one here disagrees with you. But let me fly to New York and I will personally evaluate the situation. We may already have the votes we need to ensure that the Human Restoration Act passes. Very well. Stanton, you accompany him. We may need to exert financial as well as political pressure to silence anyone opposed. Proceed. Elizabeth, I'll contact you later. It won't succeed, Lucius, even with Dowd's money. You know what Rand will find in New York? Weak, ineffectual men. And with Nathaniel Brown still an unknown factor. Of course. That is why we're proceeding with our ultimate strategy. You have claimed much in the past, Huge. This is your chance to deliver. Everything is in place. We can initiate whenever you wish. I'll secure your communications, Bob. Jaina seems to have eyes everywhere these days. He and his juggernaut collective. Janus won't be an issue. I've made arrangements. I laid the foundations. Now it is time to get everyone's attention. Page, activate the sleep cell. Stanice Růžičkovo nádraží. Příjezd za pět minut. Jensen, just getting off the train now. Copy that. We'll debrief when you get in. You're coming straight to the office? Unless there's a problem at a checkpoint. Your papers should be in order. Just keep your head down. Miller out. Sweetie, you get my message about Dubai? Yeah. I'm glad you're all right, Adam. That ambush sounded pretty bad, man. Not something I was expecting, that's for sure. Any idea who hit us? Well, I'm sure your task force will come up with something. And that it won't be what the Juggernaut Collective digs up. Kinda odd, though, don't you think? Interpol sending your team, the Prag team, to Dubai in the first place? Miller said they were scrambling. Last minute intel. We were the only strike team available. Yeah, well, that's a lie. Better get moving. The Collective has been keeping tabs on all task force divisions ever since we slipped you into one of them. We've got a team in Oman. Could have been a hell of a lot faster than you guys. So why send us? I don't know. If the task force is an Illuminati front, we all suspect. It doesn't make much sense to send it into an ambush. Unless they wanted our team to see something. Officially. Aukové, 
Připravte si papíry na inspekci. Wouldn't dream of it, Alex. I swear it's gotten even worse here in the past few days. Everyone looking over their shoulder. Terrified hogs like us are going to attack them again. Somebody probably will. Treat people like animals long enough, they'll start acting like animals. You say that like there's nothing we could do to stop it. I already tried two years ago. It didn't work out so well. So what? Are you saying we should just give up? Let hatred and prejudice take over? To hell with that. I'm saying I can only go after enemies I see, Alex. The men who caused all this, the true power brokers, they're the ones I need to stop. I thought you knew that. I do. You, me, the Juggernaut Collective, we're all trying to stop them. It doesn't mean turning a blind eye to Then help me find them. about Dubai, about the Illuminati needing your team as witnesses, and we need to find out why. Who gave you the order to mobilize? Miller did. But it probably came from someone higher up the chain. Doesn't mean he's not in on it. Ever heard of the NSN? The neural subnet, sure. In TF-29, directors use it to plan ops and communicate privately in cyberspace. What's this? Whisper chip. Custom-made wiretap device. Janus designed it to fit inside the NSN's motherboard. Ah, the elusive Janus. Leader of the hacktivists. Am I ever gonna meet this guy? Someday, maybe. Right now you need to concentrate on Miller and find a way to access the NSN's mother. Listen, Alex, my systems are acting up a little, so I've got to get checked out. But if you want to meet or...
All right, I will. Talk to you soon. Open blinds. Good morning, Adam. You have one new message. From? David Sarif. <sighs> Play it. Adam, it's David. I know it's been a while, but uh, after what happened in Prague yesterday... Look, son, whatever reasons you've had for not getting in touch these last two years, well, life's too short. I'm leaving for London soon, but uh, give me a call. You saved his vid call number? Yes, Adam. Just activate your TV system. wondering what the Augmented Rights Coalition hopes to achieve following news of yesterday's devastating attack in Prague. So let's hear from Dr. Talis Rucker.
But the normal augmented peoples of the world had failed to grasp as the incident it was a tragedy for all. But it wasn't all of humankind who went crazy, Dr. Rucker. The loss of life on both sides was considerable, but instead of healing and dialogue, fear of the augmented has turned to hatred. Surely you cannot claim to be mistreated by governments when they have spent taxpayer money to build special living quarters for you and your kind. But when legislation forces augmented people out of their homes and into sequestered environments, there's no reason involved. Only fear and expedience. That is why I moved to the Utelek complex. I thought you were forced to leave your native Germany. Were there not allegations that you... Those accusations were false. When I arrived in Prague... There was a terrorist bombing at a local church. But, but Arg had nothing to do with that. We are... A non-violent organization. Yes, yes, you said that. That was six months ago. Seraph. I heard about the bombing in Prague. It's all over the news. Did anyone you know get hurt? You know me. I tend to keep to myself. I'm surprised you even know I'm here. Interpol called me when you applied for the job. Part of their extensive background checks. I gave you a glowing recommendation. Thanks. What do you want? What do I want? Jeez, Adam! I know I did some questionable things in the past, but a lot's happened in the last two years. To both of us. That's true. For what it's worth, I'm glad you made it out of Panchea. Thank you. It wasn't easy, as I'm sure you know. I was at death's door by the time the rescue crews pulled me out of the wreckage, and while the doctors were stitching me back together, my company fell apart. There wasn't anything I could do to stop it, not from a hospital bed. I heard Tai Young Medical bought everything up. They're the only biotech corporation that could, after the incident. Our patents, our tech, everything. Oh well, sometimes one dream has to die so another can rise from its ashes. Your message said you were going to London. Casual trip, or is this tied to the new dream? I'm, uh, meeting with the Santo group. Nathaniel Brown and his investors. Santo? They built the Udalek complex, the Og Ghetto, here in Prague. Why are you meeting with them? Brown's got big plans. He wants to focus on real solutions, ideas that look to the future. Y you've heard of the Safe Harbor Initiative? I've heard of Rabia. The walled city he and his company are building in the desert for Augs? The is just a part of it. We're talking about self-sustaining, energy-efficient arcologies that can be replicated anywhere on Earth. Cities built by the Augmented, for the Augmented. Where the dream of self-controlled human evolution lives on. It may not seem like it right now, son, but one day, people will move on from the incident. And when that happens, we'll be ready for it. I'm glad we caught up, Adam. I've always tried to look out for you, you know. That bombing yesterday. You didn't call to talk about the bombing. Just ask. It's nothing, really. I just need a signature so I can finish filing the bankruptcy paperwork. You need my signature? Yeah, apparently there was some kind of bureaucratic mix-up caused by you being declared legally dead for a year. The apartment in Detroit was leased in your name, even though we paid for it. Fine. Send me the paperwork. Thanks, Adam. I appreciate it, really. Goodbye, Seraph.
Miller, it's Jensen. Sorry about the downtime. I'll get to the office as soon as I can, but my augs took a hit during the attack. I need to get them looked at. Dr. Kohler, I need to pay you a visit. Something wrong? The front door isn't the most peaceful option. I got it. This is my third scan this week. Why don't you scan somebody else? Not sure why we even let them out. You! Stop right there! Yeah, you! Down on your knees! Okay, uh, okay, but then... Hands behind go. your head. Like Street is off limits, Oyobok. Private function. All businesses are temporarily closed. Idiots. Everywhere. Doc Larry, Doc Larry, show me latest papers. Otherwise, you cannot go through here. I know the drill. The drill has changed. Too many forgeries. All Ogs must now carry a supplementary permit authentication card. Do you have this card? Clear it up with the people I work for. They'll take care of it. And who do you work for exactly? Does it matter? You worried I might outrank you? <laughs> of course not. These rules, they apply to everyone. Besides, I am regional director of, uh, of uh, document checking. I report to God directly. It is God who tells me that if you continue this way, without proper permit, I am morally obliged to shoot you. Is that right? My friend, I know what you're thinking. It's terrible the way they make laws against your camp. But listen, maybe I can do something to help. We could come to an understanding. What kind of understanding? Lucky for you, I know a guy. An expert in... Permitification. A document agent. He offers permits, authentication cards, peace of mind. With his help, you go wherever you want, whenever you want, no more hassles. What do you say? Supposing I wanted to pass through here right now, before getting this special document of yours. Any way for me to do that? Sure. I suggest our pay and go plan. It consists of you paying me, and then me letting you go. You mean bribery? Wink wink, my friend. I prefer the term standard fine. Tell you what, I'll even give you the good citizen discount. Just this once. This document agent you mentioned, is he the one in charge? He gets you to stop Oggs and offer them this opportunity to do business with him. Go see for yourself. My friend has documents to pass checkpoints, to keep a lease off your bank, to get into parts of Prague you never knew existed. Tell him Drahomir sent you. You'll see. I give you address, yes? All right, give me the address. I think I'd like to see who's behind all this. Chekashka. There is a courtyard behind the apartment building. Very easy to find. My friend will be there. He will get you latest permit card. Just pay him and don't ask questions. Any idea what today's take is?
serious. I saw him last night out behind the restaurant. The Rainbow Road goes through Bon Bon. You know this, bro. Please, I can pay. You must have a problem. Sorry, we... I only sell neon. Sorry, we only sell rainbow. A different kind of drug. It is called neon. I can forget all about it. Oh, wait. My sister and I need medicine. We need neuropathy. I told you, not my kind of merchandise. And not my problem. My product isn't for you. Trust me. You need to see Drachemir first. I don't handle new customers. This area is restricted to you, Lord. You're uh, not a new guest. You looking for? I was stopped by someone named Drachemir at a checkpoint. He sent me here. Apparently, you help Augs with documentation, upgrade their permits. You have the money. Maybe. You want to tell me what I'm paying for exactly? You pay to get your name on the list. Melina upstairs, she works on your shiny new permit. You come back in one week to pick it up. Standard pickup fee will apply. How much do you charge people for this? Not people. Augs. 35,000 credits. Your buddy said this one was on the house, because I'm such a nice guy. Drahomir would never say that. What would he say? Something like, gouge every og sucker I send you for as much money as you possibly can? Is that how this works? Look, just give me what you have, and I'll put your name on the list. That's how it works. Melina does surprisingly good work, puts more effort in than we ask her to. I think I've heard all I need to about your offer, and about your friend upstairs. I'm gonna try my chances with other papers for now. Suit yourself. Only a matter of time before they come knocking at night. Worth the check.
policie bude na kontrolních bodech prověřovat doklady. Mějte prosím připravený průkaz totožnosti. Never come to this. Keep moving.
there is all wrong. Looking for the best prices in Prague. I'm not talking hot dogs here. If the hot dogs aren't your main business, why don't you have a store? See, this way, I get to keep my overhead down and pass on the saving to the customers. Entrepreneurial. Better believe it. What have you got? Well, I got info. The kind that's worth something. Could always use reliable intel. Who couldn't? But for that, I only accept payment in your opposite. I don't have any. Sorry, it's a deal breaker. But find me again if you get any, okay? Gashtemi puppy. shares in the tank. Daz is the man. He'll set you up. You want praxis, eh? Biocell, hypostim, painkillers? I might be interested. They sell these things. Yeah, I got that. Buy something. Stop wasting my time. I have everything I need. Bulyatsky, Lubki.
Keep moving. This is your last chance to walk away. Have you heard of this Church of the Machine God? It seems perfect for us. I used to be an alcoholic. Getting into weed was the best thing that ever happened to me. is nothing for that kind of reach. Well, I'm bringing the valleys, so I take 50% of what's left. It's only fair.
Augmented terror attack. 251 passengers aboard Sista Airlines Flight 451 were killed. When an augmented passenger broke into the plane's cockpit and ruthlessly butchered its flight crew. Details recovered from the black box recorder suggest that the man may have had several flashbacks to the augmented. That horrible day two years ago with augmented people all over the world. Granted.
Seeker, you are here to see the Builder? He has been asleep, but I cannot wake him. I do not know if he will recover. I pray that the Mother will change her mind. Some of us remember Builder. There is always for you, sir. Do not despair. That's not necessary. I'll be in soon. all the info you need? Maybe I'll come back later. Pleasure doing business with you.
next time you're admiring Zarg, don't forget to visit the outskirts and explore the wondrous housing project that helps make these important. Nothing. The gap of music and business would be up. Give smoke. it a little time to set.
you your butt! He's in the bank! Your death draws near!
incident? Please don't shoot me. You want to tell me what's going on here? Arts and crafts? I think you work for those scam artists out there. Or do they work for you? It was never meant to be a scam. More like social services for the disaffected. You know, like no og left behind. Looks like a forgery ring to me. I hate the word forgery. I prefer graphic arts activism. I, I help people to, to, to be other people. And seriously, try getting anywhere with forgery on your resume. You're involved in something that takes advantage of people, and you're worried about your resume? If that, that may have come out wrong. I mean, yes, career is important, but it's not everything. I know that. I, t I tend to get really nervous when I'm stressed. I, I mean, I, I'm stressed when... Which always just makes things worse. Oh, okay, look. I have no reason to be nervous here, do I? You're totally on my side, right? One of the good guys. Not like Drahomir. I'm not here to make you nervous. I just need you to explain it to me. The essentials of what's been going on here. Essentials. Right. Essentially, I was trying to help my augmented friends. The way I saw it out there, the promise of fake documents was being used to extort people. How does that help them? The extortion part sucks. I swear to you, I'm totally anti-extortion. Obviously. Let me explain better. As the government, they print up these official permits each month, but they only sell them to the rich corporate and military allies. Meanwhile, the other Ogs, they get kettled out of the city because their documents aren't up to date enough. That's what was happening to my friends. Government corruption versus organized crime. And regular people get caught in the middle. You gotta love the classics. When it was just me, I didn't charge anyone. But then Drahomir shows up and turns it into this big operation with fake checkpoints and ridiculous fees. I didn't want anything to do with that. I wanted to stop. Why didn't you? I was scared. Drahomir said he would kill me. Looked at me kind of... like you're looking at me now. You're not going to kill me, are you? What do you think? I'm not sure yet. Look, the real problem is Drahomir and that checkpoint of his. Without him in the picture, the rest of them couldn't run a lemonade stand. Maybe you could... You know... You think I just walk around shooting people? Don't you? I like knowing there are other options. Okay, so stab him. Scare him, or get the police to do their job for once. I remember Drahomir mentioning this cop who threatened him. She was hanging around his checkpoint. Who knows? Maybe there really is one good cop in Prague. It sounds like the safest bet. Otherwise, you're asking me to pick a fight with a bunch of guys in uniforms, scam artists or not. The whole city would come down on you. Still, up to you how you want to handle it. Right. And just so we're clear, you are going to stop forging documents now. I don't like getting into trouble. And even worse is other people suffering because of me. No more faking documents ever again. Unless someone really, really needed one. Then I'd probably do it. I mean, if we knew for a fact that we could help someone. We should do whatever we can, right? It depends what you have in mind. The docs I make, they really can fool the authorities. Sort of. Sort of? Drahomir flooded the streets with forgeries. So the city started tracking more, adding scanners, validation numbers. Now, unless one of my permits gets activated in the city database, it's just plastic. So you're telling me these people pay for forgeries and then probably get deported anyway? It doesn't have to be that way. I have two permits that I literally just made. And I think we can really help these people. If you're willing. All right.
Then how do we help? Their names are Edward Broad and Irenka Bauer. Drachomir was going to charge them like 20 more times. But maybe you could just give them the forgeries? Early Christmas present? You said it's just plastic that people get deported anyway. How does this help them? I think I know how to get them activated. As long as you're willing to follow through. All right. I'll go meet Edward and Irenka. In the meantime, are you going to be okay here? Once they learn that Drahomir's been taken care of, the others will leave me alone. He's the one I'm scared of. We've already taken care of the guys outside. They won't be a problem. Thank you. As mysterious military types go, you're pretty neat, I guess. By the way, there is a safe over there where they keep their money. I'll give you the code. 2489. Feel free to help yourself. What about you? Way ahead of you. Because Dragomir looks like a cop. How are you? Doesn't mean he's a real cop. We were machines, sir. But terror and pain have turned us into souls. There is something struggling within. Moments when something enters into us. Thoughts come upon us which are not of us. We feel. What we did not used to feel. We hear voices teach us to have children so that we may love them. 
Primus, is that you? Are you a rank of Bauer? Who are you? Please, take whatever you want. Just leave us alone. I didn't come here to take anything. You haven't? Irenka, she gets very scared. Whatever you've come to tell her, you should first tell me. I... I am the robot Helena. Irenka's not well. We must shield her. Irenka paid someone to make her an aug permit. To keep her from being taken to Gollum City. That someone wants to come through. Ready? If, if that's true, she'll be... We'll be very happy. If we can stay in Prague, maybe they'll leave in... There was once a great play that predicted so much. Robots, revolutions, the future of mankind. She memorized all of it. It's her way. It's my way of trying to understand. I'll take your word for it. Here. This permit is good enough to fool anyone who takes a look at it. Does... Does this mean I don't have to hide anymore? It's not that simple. You're still in danger. The permit needs to be activated. Otherwise, a routine scan will mark you for Gollum just the same. Oh, I don't understand. Sorry. There's no legal way for you to stay here. You should prepare for the worst. Uh, I... Uh, we don't know how to prepare. I'll take care of the activation. Just keep a low profile until I can get it sorted out. Thank you. We appreciate it. Sitting on some. Get lost, dog, before we turn our attention to you. Heard you're sitting on some cash, Grandpa. Get... Thank you. Thank you so much for what you've done. Thank you. I. I didn't know what to do. There are not many people a man like me can call on for help. What did they want? What everybody wants. Money. To feel strong. At first I thought they were here to take me away. Any moment now, they will take me away. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Don't get an old man's hopes up. Unless... My daughter? Did she send you? She did, didn't she? Why else would you? Please, tell me. When can I see them? No, that's not who sent me. You paid someone for an AUG permit. Do you remember? Oh, yes. Those officers who stopped me. Sure, I remember. They charged me three times already. Said it was a very complicated process. I knew it wouldn't get me anywhere. But you kept paying? I was desperate. I would pay a hundred more times if it meant I could stay close to my family. To what is left of them. I want to stay in Prague. Here. This permit should fool anyone at a glance. I remember the officer saying I would have to pay again. Is that true? No, I'm not here to collect. I'm here to help. I appreciate that. So, what now? Do I have to activate something? 
I can put on my nice coat if necessary. If I have to wait in line, I'll wait in line. I don't complain. The situation's a little less legal than that. Oh. Do you need me to break in somewhere? I'll take care of it. Just try to keep a low profile until I figure out how to validate your number. All right. I can do that. I will wait here. Milena, I met with both those dogs you made permits for. Now what? Be there when I can, Kohler. It makes me think of the old couple. Clank, let me see your permit, and be quick about it. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, officer. What's the matter, eh? I'm holding you up from some important, uh, This is a BH-847. Is that what it is? Sounds impressive. Are you going to be a problem? Eyes to yourself. Hmm. You are cleared through this checkpoint. Go about your business. wasn't my fault, it was yours. Goodbye. You'll recommend me at the bank? Well... What? Something is going to push them into attacking us. City run by criminals and
to be a beautiful city. Milena, I got into the Og Permit Registry. Why am I seeing a security timer? Why does it say there's only one validation slot? What does that mean? I came here to help two people. Elena, that permit I wasn't able to scan. What happens to Edward now? No, it doesn't. Podívám, co tady ty... Hele, koukejte nám dát 
Alex, this whisper chip you gave me, it's an easy plant. Our enemies aren't waiting around while we lick our wounds. Got it. I'll let you know when it's done. How does that help us find who did it? It doesn't. But it might lead to another clue that will. Adam Jensen, please report to Peter Chase's office. Adam, you're here. You made it in. It's good to see you're okay. Hey, Aria, yeah. It was a close call. I got lucky. A lot of people didn't. I was here working when the first reports came in. It was chaos. Phones ringing off the hook, people yelling, scrambling to find out what was going on. Then when Miller told me you were there, I... I'm all right. Good. You looking for him? Because he's tied up right now, a meeting with Lyon, I think. Really? He's using the NSN right now? Yeah, I just saw him. Oh, hey, that reminds me, here's yours. What's this? The card for the shooting range. Chang changed all the codes this morning, said something about only giving access to people he's vetted personally. The bombing really freaked him out. Third one in six months, can you believe it? I just... I'm really glad you're okay. Thanks, Aria. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Yeah, I better get back downstairs. It's gonna be a busy day. Come by later if you want to talk. I'll be there. I think Singh's got some kind of adrenaline addiction. He plays it too close to the edge. He made it out of the body. I'm telling you, if it had been anyone but Jensen on the ground, Singh would have Initiated. Access granted.
I don't want any trouble. interested in clean guns for a good price. Come on in. Weapons for sale. They rigged the electronic voting system and elected a 12-year-old boy as president. You interested in some merchandise? I gave the police a list of all the renters in my building that I suspected. Whoever think about this. getting out of Prague? What did you do that for? I'm protecting the real people in the building. Most of them on that list are a few months late with their rent anyway. Nice. nice time for a walk. Do not push your luck, Panzer. Are you telling me you don't think they should all be moved there? This is getting to be a real pain. Kvilku strpení, prosím. Skenuju. Co pak tady máme? OK. Žádný problémy? Tak jo, Augu. Můžeš jít dál.
You should yes? be in Golem City with all the rest of your terrorist friends. So, my friend, to the the you day. have the card. We got this. Sure beats knocking up a liquor store. Don't forget about your permit authentication card. Would hate to be caught without one of those. So, my friend, you have the card now, yes? I know all about your extortion scheme, Drahomir. I'm here to put a stop to it. I, I don't know what you're talking about. But... But I tell you what. You get out of here. Right now. And I'll forget all about your outdated documents. I know you're not a real cop. And I know the forgeries you sell don't even work anymore. How much longer do you think you can keep this up once people realize you're just a con man? The Oak permits may not work anymore, but my police credentials, very convincing. Show the right piece of paper here, fill the right pocket there. The cops won't touch me. Not over this. Good thing I'm not a cop. Look, M Melena's the one you want, okay? She makes the forgeries. I'm just a... Uh, Middleman. I've heard enough from Elena to know that isn't true. You spoke to her? Look, this was never personal. If you value your life, don't make it personal now. I will kill to protect what is mine. 
Your days of making offers are done. I didn't come here to negotiate. No more peddling false hope. Is that right? I think you're all talk. And I think I can prove it. Boo! This is getting to be a real pain. Quilku strpení, prosím. Skenuju. Co pak tady máme? OK. Žádný problémy? Tak jo, Augu. Můžeš jít dál. Bother, Hanser. No posing. Walking clank. I got nothing to
Don't bother him. Don't bother him. Great. Appreciated. Access granted.
Alex, I'm trying to find the best way to access the motherboard without blowing my cover. Me. 
I remember it's red. Jensen, my favorite techno wonder kind. Sorry about the goons, man. They, uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? They're not gonna be a problem anymore. What do they want? You behind on your protection money? I, I don't think it's about money. I got this little misunderstanding with their boss, Otar. You know how it is with these gangster types. Enough to know that there's no such thing as a little misunderstanding. The Valley internal politics. I... I'm gonna get it sorted. Gonna see the big boss myself. As soon as things settle down. The day after a bombing, man, it's... Well, I mean, it's scary, right? I'm surprised people go out at all. Sometimes people don't have a choice. My systems took a hit. I was hoping you could help me get everything running again. Took a hit? You mean... Oh, shit! Why didn't you say so? We need to get you in the chair. The chair. You know I've always wanted to get a closer look at those sadly fogs of yours. A real close look. So, uh... So let's strap you in, get the gas going, and then... Well, then I just need to sort of dive in. Uh, feel my way around. All right, let's just get this over with. Relax, Jensen. It's... it's gonna be fine. You... you won't even know I'm in there. You'll feel weightless, far away, like you're someone else. But Kohler's gonna bring you back and make you you again. Before you know it. I swear I didn't mean to... Your retinal display should be back soon. You can still move, right? What, what did you... I was... I was trying to connect the unconnected. But you got some strange fucking augs back there. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have... Uh, here, let me get you some water. Or something stronger, maybe? Water. You got it, Jensen. Just, uh... Just ease up. Don't freak out. Rebooting was the only way to save you. Save me from what, Carl? Core meltdown. You almost melted my chair. So I reset you, and I found these... these, uh... I think it's better if I show you what I found. Bring up your system display. You need to see this for yourself. These are your implants. You're familiar with all these, right? Yeah. David Seraph installed them. Took two years for my body to get used to everything. Right. Well... I had to undo some of that getting used to. What's going on, Kohler? Why do I feel different? Something was trying to vampire the juice out of you. I couldn't figure out what until after the reboot. Turns out your Factory Zero is not the standard Factory Zero. What am I looking at? Experimental fucking test dogs, man. Hidden inside your body. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Pretty cool, right? I'm not sure yet. I want to show you what happens when you activate one of these suckers.
It's okay, Jensen. One isn't gonna kill you. You've said that before. See that? Major spike in your power consumption. Where the hell did these things come from? I can't answer that. All I know is the explosion must have woken them up. But man, you wanna use these crazy fucking things? That's your right. We just gotta make sure it doesn't fry you. Now, I think I maybe got an idea on how to do that. Try shutting down one of your other implants. You know, just for fun. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. See that? Cooled you right down. You have the power to balance your system if you want. Just, you know, don't activate everything all at once. What would happen if I did? Well, you'd suffer some major glitches due to overheating. We're talking risk of permanent damage. So, you know, maybe don't do that. All right. Reset me now, Kohler. I'll reactivate what I need myself. Okay. So I'm not always gonna be there for you like this. I can't just follow you around to reset things and hold your neural weave together. Whatever choices you make from here on out, they're your choices. Thought you were supposed to be my AUG expert. I specialize in Chinese black market, okay? The shit I found hidden inside you, spliced into your system like that, looks to me like it's from Mars, man! I'm pretty sure they're not from Mars. I just... I feel bad. You deserve answers I can't give you. I can help manage your system better than anyone in Prague. I help you make the most of the new Augs we just found. But you can't tell me where the hell they came from. As far as I know, David Seraf installed all my Augs. There's something inside me I don't know about. He's the one I need to talk to. I am familiar with Saris' work. These new Augs, they... they look different to me. I mean, that neodymium shell. Who uses dimorphic magnetoriological fluid like that? Seriously, if you talk to Sarif, you need to ask him that. Shit really stands out. Pretty fucking cool, actually. You ever seen anything like this before? An AUG system that's deliberately hidden like that? I don't know, Jensen. I mean, I heard of people getting the black market treatment before. Pass out in Prague, wake up in Shanghai. But usually they wake up with less AUGs, not more. What exactly makes these AUGs so different from my other ones? They look like experiments, is what. Loose wiring everywhere, man. It's, it's like half of you is uh, untested, unfinished, unbelievable. It's... it's beautiful, is what it is. This tune-up went longer than I expected. Let's wrap this up. Right. Here, take some Praxis kits for the trouble. Praxis solves everything. Keeps customers happy. Just, uh, remember what I showed you about managing your juice. It's gonna be a balancing act for you. Well, unless... Unless what, Kohler? There could be a way to optimize. It's just... It would involve getting something from Otar. A neuroplasticity calibrator. There's a way for me to use everything I have without compromise? I want to know about it. I was hoping you'd say that. I order all my fancy tech from this illegal catalog, right? But... My last shipment got intercepted. By Otar Botkoveli. 
The same Otar whose men were looking for books out there before? I am not going to force you. I want you to want to do it. I want you to want to be an augmented god among men. If that sounds like something that interests you, then you should know that Otar runs an underground casino in the Chisti district. The entrance is in a small courtyard off Hlavni Street. Thanks for the info, Kolar. Thanks for the praxis. You know I love you, Jensen, but we both have work to do. What do you need? This calibrator you need, what is it exactly? It's a device that allows me to measure and manipulate neuronal connections. I mean, I can eyeball with the best of them, but for any type of advanced procedure... So you can't optimize my system without this device? An Otar just happens to have it. I was having a shipment of tools delivered to somewhere I shouldn't have. An Otar intercepted. I'm sorry, Jensen. This situation I got with the Diwalis, it's not really your problem. I'm starting to think it is. That's all I need for now, Doc. Yeah, yeah, okay. And hey, good luck with that shit. Don't fry yourself, alright?
Depends on how many cops ask to see my papers.
initiated. Access denied. Initiated. Access denied. Initiated. Access granted. Initiated. Access denied.
a jisté nástroje či další autovské příslušenství mohou být během namátkových kontrol zabaveny. Děkujeme za spolupráci.
Got an update on your friend Dravimir. He's unconscious. He will be for some time. I have no intention of killing him. If you need to get somewhere safe, somewhere he'll never find you, now is the time. Thank you. 
should look. Over there. On it. This is not the place for you. What's going on? I didn't expect to hear from you. I didn't expect my doctor to find dormant augs hidden in my system. What? Dormant experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! All the work we did on you was above board. You have my word on that. What, uh, what exactly did you find? Experimental test dogs spliced into my system. Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? God, you've got a Titan dog? It's impossible. It was just a concept. You just said this wasn't you. It wasn't. The DOD showed me schematics three years ago and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have fit in. These schematics you saw. Don't suppose you kept a copy? They were classified. I never had a copy. The only reason I even saw them was because the Defense Department valued my opinion. Seraph Industries did good work back in the day. When we signed a schematic, you knew it was solid. Orlov? Sounds Russian. Who is he? Why wouldn't he have fit in? He was supposed to be a boy wonder, a neuroscience prodigy. His master's degree in Moscow, post-grad in the U.S. His grades were off the chart, but his theories were, uh, sketchy at times. Megan said his ethics were questionable. Megan? Megan Reed said that? The woman who gave you my DNA to experiment with? We didn't hire him, Adam. Two minutes into the interview and I could tell Orloff didn't like his ideas being challenged by anyone. Least of all, a strong woman like your ex. Orlov? Sounds Russian. Who is he? Why wouldn't he have fit in? Megan? We didn't I've got to find this guy. Adam, let me track him down for you. I'm leaving for London soon, but I can make phone calls. Reach out to me. Seraph Industries may be gone, but my name still carries weight in certain circles. Do it. Contact me by info link when you have something. I won't let you down on this. I never felt right about losing touch with you after Panchea. When I heard you'd shown up in Detroit alive a year after everyone thought you were dead. Why didn't you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Rescue crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Nobody knew who I was. For a long time, neither did I. My god, son, you don't think... I mean, that could have been when... Find Orlov, Seraph. I've got questions I need answered. I will, I promise. I'll call you. 